This unit comes complete with a project. You can download the project packet by clicking the appropriate link below. It's all about indirect measurement. Now one of the things that you're going to need in order to get an A on this project is an inclinometer. The first part of this video explains how to make an inclinometer. You're going to need a few things. First, a protractor. You should remember these from the first unit. Uh, they're used to measure angles. You're going to need a drinking straw. You will need some transparent tape. Actually, any tape will work, but transparent tape is the best because that way if you tape over the numbers on your protractor, you can still read them. You will need some string. And finally, you're going to need some good weight. Now that weight can be in the form of nuts, bolts, washers, coins. Just make sure that it's heavy enough to weight the string. Okay, how do you make an inclinometer? First, you want to attach a length of string to the protractor so it can move freely from the vertex point. Now remember that vertex point is that point where the vertex would go if you're measuring an angle. And then you want to attach a weight to the end of your string. Next, there are actually two ways to assemble it. Here is the first option. You're going to want to attach the drinking straw along the zero line. This is for aiming. The straw should probably be on the opposite side of the string so that you don't tape over it and cause problems. Remember, the string needs to move freely from the vertex point. The second option is to attach the drinking straw along the 90 degree line. Again, you're going to want to put this on the opposite side of the protractor of the string so that the string can move freely around the vertex point.